All right, next I'm going to get this other ECU harness buttoned up. So we're going to do the glow plugs. Um, the wiring is way too long. So this runs from the relay and plugs in here. And this wire runs through the harness the glow plugs where there's looks like someone spliced in a new harness possibly so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be my main main wire that I'm gonna run over and I'm gonna pull all this wiring out of the harness and put this connector right here so that I'll simply plug in just right here so I'm gonna pull that harness all the way out and get that buttoned up and then there's also a couple plugs that's going to delete, like the VSS and uh, oil pressure. So that's not needed. That's just a light, dummy light for the dash. So I'm going to pull that harness out, get that fixed up and loomed up, cleaned up. So we got this part, so what I'm going to do is just wire that connection just like that and then I'll plug into the factory harness and eliminate all this wiring we don't need instead of wrapping it up somewhere, we can do that. Plus, I wanted to get rid of these two joints, I don't know how good they were. I think the car actually had a check engine light, or the glow plug, yeah check engine light for the glow plug. So. It's either some of the glow plugs or it could be one of these connections isn't so great. So that'll eliminate that anyway. We got that glow plug harness done. I went and cut the oil pressure um, plug off. It was right there, just taped it up inside the harness. And then the VSS is deleted off this car, so we're off the ECU, so we can get rid of this plug. Um, so there's a ground here that runs up into the injection pump plug. It is at number seven right there. Um, and I actually, I actually tied that in with this other ground. It doesn't really need to be grounded, I guess, because it's gonna be cut. So I'll probably just cut that ground off. Um, so I'm just gonna cut these in the harness here, tape them up inside the harness and just leave, a, leave the wire. So I don't want to strip. Because these other two, I believe, go to the ECU plug and so I don't have to strip all this wiring out and unpin it. So I'm just take the easy way out and cut it. It's not going to hurt anything being in there. So we'll do that and then go through and tape, tape this harness up. Make sure everything, I'll probably put it back in the truck. Make sure everything is in the right location as far as where to tape <clears throat> everything. And then we can get it all loomed and taped up. All right, we got this thing all wrapped up, taped up, so should be good to go. Um, so I'm going to get this thing back in the truck. Get I still got to wrap those other wires for this, the other side of this glow plug harness. Um, so I'm going to get those wrapped up, get this thing back in the truck, and that harness should be good to go. All right, guys, injection pump harness goes down here you can see right here glow plug harness comes back 
down behind there. Then they both come up here. The glow plug runs, obviously, the glow plug relay. And then this harness is basically all the power for that injection pump. So I'm going to leave this, most of that there, anyway, until I start the truck. Um, stuff like this, this harness, I had no, no splices or anything in that. So I decided it was okay to wrap that one up. Um, but something like this where it's all the main power, I want to confirm that everything is correct before I go through, cut, splice, and loom everything. So a lot of that is just going to be hanging over the fender. The only thing I really need to hook to the Toyota ignition is this purple, the black purple wire um, coming out of this injection pump harness. So it runs... It, it feeds the injection pump and then it also feeds, let's see if I can find it, it splices off here and it runs into the um, ECU for the wake up signal. So that'll wake up the ECU. So that needs toilet ignition. And then according to my research, this wire here, it's a green black coming from the injection pump as well. It's a load reduction um, and this this Toyota harness is not going to use that load reduction relay. So I have, according to my research, that needs uh, switch power from the Toyota as well. So there's those two wires and when I get a battery in this thing I'm going to probe these, look for ignition power and actually know there is one um, ignition power coming to this plug here which was the factory glow, uh, fuel pump relay um, so I know there's power here and I'm fairly certain there's some switch power here so I can splice right into that hook that up and I'll run that black purple wire in here hook that up here as well and other than that we should be pretty good so and then all these all these other wires in here are just the the stuff for like tack K line. There was a couple other ones here, alternator. Um, so I'll have to get those all hooked up. But just waiting for my ECU and a battery. So once we get that, we can see if this thing will fire up. And I also need to wire in the uh, fuel pump relay as well because that pump won't suck through. You have to have that powered. So I'll power that too and get that relay wired up and then we should be able to start it. So check with the next video I'm going to go through and button up a lot of this other stuff and hopefully get this thing started up. So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, now we're doing some ground cables. Um, <clears throat> so it's actually very, very important um, to ground everything. So your ground placements are very crucial so the battery ground needs to go to the engine block the alternator and the starter all ground to the block so that's where your your heavy gauge negative ground cable will go and then you're going to want to ground the the block to the frame and the block to the body for all the grounds on the electronics that are say inside the cab that are grounded to the body and whatever electronics are grounded to the frame. So you want everything grounded. <clears throat> so I got these cables here, just built them there, I believe six gauge. Um, so I am going to run one ground cable from, actually the factory Toyota has a ground here. Um, so I'm gonna run one from there to one of the studs right there on the vacuum pump. So that'll be my engine to body ground and then my engine to frame I'm coming off just a boss right there that has the it's already threaded and I'm gonna ground that underneath here on the frame so on the motor mount bolt and you want to make sure you just grab a little piece of sandpaper or something and sand those points so there's no paint in between to make sure you get a good ground and then 
as far as the battery ground I'm actually gonna go off one of the bell housing bolts um, since that's aluminum there's obviously no paint on there and aluminum is a good ground anyway so and there's not really anywhere on this block on this side I don't want to run a cable all the way over so I'm gonna run to town right now grab a negative battery cable um, and we'll get that on and then we can get these these straps installed so I'll show you guys once I get all that stuff done alright guys it's upper ground like I said it runs from the body where that factory Toyota ground was and then it grounds on the vacuum pump there so that one's finished up and then <clears throat> this one here you can see there it runs from the block up to that motor mount and the ones in between the motor you want to make sure you have a little extra slack in them for when the motor torques and moves around that you don't rip those cables apart so give them a little extra slack I just kind of looped them like that so you see that one there so no problems there so let me get this uh, let me go I, I gotta run into town like I said <clears throat> grab that cable for the negative and then we can get that on